I'm back. Uh, got a system. Something clean, something simple. Um, this is in the 2012 Dodge Charger SE. Um, got a Kicker L5. Now, before I even start this video, I'll let you guys know it is upside down, yes. By the time me and my buddy got it in, we seen that. As uh, you can see, the L5 is upside down. We're just like, man, forget it. It was a long day. We threw it in there. But this is a Kicker L5 15 inch. All right, so I'm just doing 115. I want the trunk space. You know, I have two subs in the other car. Um, so I wanted to be simple, just get one sub. And, you know, I kept the stop, uh, stock components, you know, as far as my head unit stock. I have to stock door speakers and 6x9s. But um, I like it a lot. It's really nice, hits really well. Uh, my gain is actually all the way down, and it, it still hits like crazy. Um, the specs on it. It is a L5, like I said, of 750 watt RMS, and my amp is actually a 750 watt ZX um, kicker. So, you know, I went with the, the kicker components, kicker wiring. Um, as you know, for the chargers, the batteries are in the back here, so it, it's going to be impossible for me to get up with the stuff here. But everything's hooked up through here. So, I mean, like the big timer said, uh, 415s didn't see no wires. I don't know if you, you guys remember that song, Still Fly. But um, check that out. I'll actually show you what it looks like in the back because we have the back wired up, the amp, and you can actually see how it's wired up. Let me see if I can. I don't know how well you can see this, but we just have the amp sitting right back there on the back of the box. And as you can see, there's still a lot of trunk space there. And a lot of breathing room and we got everything just running down I mean and it turned out so clean so well it took us forever to do but came out nicely so I'm sure you guys want to hear it now so I'll cut to the chase go ahead and play something for you turn up a little bit more Until next time, see you then.